Now the last one we're going to use to welcome our first act. This is a stand-up. He deserves this. This is like the godmother laugh. And this is a stand-up he's been with us for over a year now. He's one of our best performers. Um, and it's like, you're going to clap, you're going to laugh, so I can't do it because I've got that like, ah. But yeah, clap, laugh, stand up, whatever you want. Dan Harding, everybody. What's up, guys? Sold out tonight, how are we feeling? Everyone here to see stand-up, yeah? Woo! Yeah, we're not getting paid, so we're not carried away, it's fine. <laughs> uh, I'm from Wales, if you don't know where that is, just head in that direction down there until the Wi-Fi runs out. <laughs> uh, like, I don't have the accent, unfortunately, but that's alright, because you all can understand me a little bit better. None of the sheep suspect you. <laughs> One time there was like a sheep that got stuck to the bike rack in a little village in Wales, and like, if you've ever been to Wales, you know that that sheep is literally the village bike for the weekend. <laughs> but it's not like Manchester, like, it's much nicer up here. If you see a sheep chained up on a bike rack, worst thing that's going to happen, maybe someone steals its legs. <laughs> Charlie, what are you doing with them sheep's legs? Get them in! <laughs> oh, I'm glad you got the ha ha down. rest of them are still on stage, we're like, <laughs> Welsh. I do want to apologise for the country a little bit, because like, we I went home recently, I sort of re-realised that you can't really be Welsh without like having a small hatred for the English and everything that you do. Like, it, it's not even a hatred, it's just a reflex. I, I just saw a guy eating the pastry the other day and I flipped him the fuck off. <laughs> just sort of walking out of a break, it's like, I hope you get mugged by a seagull. <laughs> like, look at him, David, I bet he's here on holiday. How shit must your country have to be to come to Wales on holiday? Which, never mind, he's wearing a kilt. Play on, lad. Play on. <laughs> um, I started dating again recently. Woo! Uh, oh, cheers, boss. Everyone else already knew that like, I was single, but like, cheers, man. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, like, I just noticed like girls put like way more effort in dates than we do. Like, you're all like amazing. Like, your outfits are always perfect. Hair is always done amazing. Covered your eyebrows with like more eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> It's so annoying when we text you like, oh, do you just want to go to Spoons? Like, we already fucking live there. <laughs> like, I, I'm in no place to question, like, fashion, but I do have one complaint only. Like, I know, I know I'm know, i about to talk about fashion on stage, I'm a man, and you're like, why the fuck do you have a mullet? Like, you're on stage talking about fashion, why the fuck do you have a mullet? Mullet man is talking about dating, he means visiting his cousins, right? <laughs> no? What a tough crowd tonight. We don't, we don't, like, we don't like the incest jokes? Fucking English, right? <laughs> it's just a Tuesday and wet. No, no, it's not, it's not. Uh, where the fuck was I going with that? It was the acrylic nails. Like, what the fuck is up with this? I know they look beautiful and shit, but you've got to sit there for 30 minutes, feel great for the rest of the day, but you've got to get home and be like, how the fuck am I supposed to wipe my ass with this shit? You all seen Freddy Krueger, right? Every wonder why he looks constipated? Man's been holding shit in for 30 years because he knows he can't wipe his ass. Like, guys, like, we, we don't do it justice, because apart from that, girls look amazing on dates. Like, we, we don't put enough effort in, nearly. Like, I think the only thing we do is change every female on our contact's name to John, just in case they message us. And then two days before, maybe we shave our pubes. That's about it. Like, it doesn't even matter where the date is. We could be going on a mega bus on a Tuesday, and, like, two days before, we'll be like, just in case. I, I wanted to put a bit more effort in recently. I started going to the gym a little bit. Like, I don't know if you can tell. I think it's working because I already feel the need to bore all of you with, to death with that fact. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, laugh number two. <laughs> Still ain't getting paid. <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, the only thing I don't like about the gym is like the roid heads that like live there permanently. Like, take your time. Can I get a pint? <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> but like, like the roid heads that live there permanently, right? The guys that are like walking around the gym like they own the place but never leave you alone. Like as soon as you sit down on the machine to do one thing, like bro, you're using that, then you've got to be like, oh no, no, I just finished, like you can have that shit. I, I'm never using that shit. <laughs> you, you already have those muscles, I already have them muscles on the diagram. I don't know, I need to look those out, it's fine. <laughs> but, um, what the fuck are they going to go with that? Like, that's, that's a stupid question. Like, are you using that shit? Like, no, no, I just forgot this was here. But I'm just deleting people from Snapchat. I'm, I'm just here for the mirrors. It's the, that's it, and the yoga pants. That's it. Um, I think I'm done, guys. Have a good night.
Give it up for Dan, everybody.